Hi, this is Jason Bomar with LA Networks. We're a Los Angeles-based Cisco Gold Bar, and uh, today in ACI for Network Engineers, we're going to be going through uh, Fabric Discovery. <coughs> this is a fairly unique feature in ACI. It's pretty uh, interesting. You know, it's not unique in general, right? The concept is zero-touch deployment, and that's effectively what it is. You have in this case, and we'll take a look at this in the actual APIC GUI, of course, but You've got a couple of spines, a couple of leaves, and then a cluster of apex. A cluster is three or more. Right now, max is five. And they're kind of standalone entities at the moment. And when we go through fabric discovery, what we'll find is we'll find that apex one runs out and discovers he's connected to leaf 201. Okay. And then he uses LODP for this. And then Leaf 201 uses LODP to come up and walk and discover spine 101 and spine 102. From the spines, and this is kind of the magic of ACI, I then discover all other leaves and apex at once, one fell swoop, because every spine is connected to every leaf, right? So his LODP walk goes like that. And at the end of things, it looks something like this, except we'll have some redundancy coming in. Along those lines. So in our sample fabric that we'll be using, it's just going to be two leaves, two spines. Uh, but this process is the same if you had, you know, four spines and a hundred leaves. Okay. So, uh, and likewise, when you go to add or remove something from the fabric, uh, we won't go through that. I don't have extra gear, but you'll kind of see how that would process would work through the interface. You would just right click and remove a device or right click and add a device that's been added. Um, and when we have these numbers like leaf 201, 202, spine 101, spine 102, those are numbers we're going to program. So absolutely, that's an opportunity for you to kind of consider how you want to number that, and we will talk about those items in uh, the demonstration. Let's okay, let's take a look at how to do our fabric discovery. So I'm over here on the fabric and the inventory menu, and if I were to come down and take a look at my topology at the moment, it's going to be a very boring topology. Oh, I just see this one little APIC that I happen to be uh, uh, HTTPS into okay if I come down here and I take a look uh, you can see that it's discovered a device okay called uh, tep-1-101 for this uh, that's clearly not a normal serial number I think I mentioned before this is a simulator and if I just click in here I can give it a node ID and I can give it a node name. Okay. I could even enter in a rack name if I know where it's racked. If I just click update, okay, it will go ahead and uh, in a moment, and it does take a few minutes, especially for the very first item that you discover. Uh, later on, um, some of the other items um, happen much more uh, automatically. But what it's doing is the, the APIC controller is going out and he's running LLDP and the switches all have LLDP on by default and he's going to go discover that. You can see he suddenly got an IP address. Okay. And look at this. From the leaf, he's starting to discover other devices. He's discovered a spine, for example, right? And he's discovered a second spine. This is because every leaf is connected to every spine. So um, if I come in here now, if you're doing this in production, right, if you're working in a production environment or even in a POC or anything other than a simulator, really, you probably want to know what those serial numbers are so that you understand which device is which right that should be easy enough to get you can get them when you do the rack and stack or if you have a data center operations team that tracks inventory for you 
uh, packing slips, however you need to get it. But you probably want to go ahead and create a spreadsheet or something. If you have a large fabric, you could just write it down if you have just a small fabric. But if I come in here and I now click here, right, and I can do 101. It's fine. You know what, maybe what I want to do is put in that node, node ID. The APIC often refers to the node ID, not the node name. So maybe I want to do that and look at this. I Oh, I already did that for my leaf. I was actually thinking ahead. And then if I come down here, I can do something similar. I can do 102. And spine 102. And I'll do an update. And now that it's reached the spine, it'll do an LLDP walk. And the ninth, nice thing about a spine leaf or a, a cloth architecture, however you want to refer to it, is once I hit the spine, I hit all leaves at once. Now here I only have one other leaf. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do 202. And leave 202 update. Okay. I only had one other leaf, but I have done this before with, uh, you know, more than just two leaves. And sure enough, as soon as I discover the spines, I discover all remaining leaves. The other item that will occur here is once I've discovered all leaves, I've also discovered all apex, right? What we didn't go through here is there's a little... Um, command line prompt menu you go through on the apex when you first bootstrap those which will kind of walk you through things like the the ip address range that these ips are getting assigned out of okay you can tell they're not necessarily sequential it uses in this case uh, we use the slash 16 10 000 slash 16 okay and those are used uh for numbering the fabric. And now if I come up to my topology, now I will say this, the topology does take a little bit of time to come up, okay? But you'll see it starting to build this out. Remember at the very beginning when I clicked on topology, we just had our one APIC. And now I've got a second APIC, I've got one leaf, I've got two spines. The other thing is I can come in here and if I come down under pod, okay, the pod is effectively all the spines and all the leaves that are within your fabric. Okay, and you can have multiple pods, but that's a rather advanced topic. So we'll just assume we have just pod one. If you want to know about the physical interfaces here, you could just you could just click your physical interfaces. Okay, or you could click the high level object and just get a quick understanding what's up, what's down, and so forth. You can also, if you click on the actual leaf item itself, you can get uh, dashboards and, and fault items specific to that particular device okay one thing you should note on these health scores they're not instantaneous and they're not instantaneous on purpose when something's gone down it takes a little while to recover because what it doesn't want is to mark something hundred percent before it feels like it's truly hundred percent okay if I come back into topology now we notice that I'm kind of completely discovered I've got my APIC 1, 2, and 3. It shows you where it's connected. I've got both spines, both leaves, correct? And if I come in here, I can actually drill down and I can see where the spines connect to the leaf. I can uh, see where my APICs are configured to connect and so forth. So that's everything uh, for fabric discovery. Hopefully this was useful. This is a really powerful, neat feature. Really, as long as it's cabled and powered, you're good. Even if they cabled it wrong, by the way, um, you would still be okay because there's a protocol that runs within the fabric that detects mis, uh, miscabling. So if they connected the spine to the spine, it's not going to bring up those links, actually. It's going to mark them as aired out, okay? Uh, 
but this allows you to kind of do an automated fabric discovery, which is kind of a nice way to go. Thanks uh, for watching, and we'll do another one shortly.